What is up guys, it's Turbo here and welcome to episode 56 of the FIFA 14 Karuma. Today we have a massive, a massive match against Manchester City at home. I said it was away last episode. I lied, I was just testing you cheeky buggers. Arsenal play Southampton on this day. Um, and apart from that, there's no other real matches or no decent matches in the Premier League. Swansea take on Everton, I suppose. That's alright, because they're both sort of in the top, top 10 teams. But Newcastle, Man City, first versus third. This is going to be a big, tough day for us. It's going to be a chance for us to prove our worth and to go out there and get a win and a result against Manchester City. Yaya Torre sitting in the midfield, playing against his old club. But um, this is going to be a team effort. It's not going to be individual. It's going to be a team effort. And we need to be a strong team. We need to be together. And we need to have team spirit. We need to encourage each other. All the good things. But uh, Lescott, of all the people to have the first chance, Lescott hitting the post in the early minutes. It just gave us a, uh, a warning as to what sort of team we were facing. Man City are unlike anyone we faced before. Oh, wait, I lied. We've already played Arsenal, Liverpool and Man United, of course. We know what we're doing. It's time to get all the big teams out of the way. Lukaku has the first real chance of the match. But unfortunately, Joe Hart is equal to it. In the 20th minute, he ma they managed to uh, calmly pass out of their box. But did they realise that Lukaku would track back and win the ball? Oh no, Jennings. Dale Jennings, who got a start. He has his first Premier League start against Manchester City. What a time to make his first Premier League start. Remy on the ball. Lovely fake shot. Lovely shot. Joe Hart gets there, but... Unfortunately for them, Kazuke Honda was on hand. He was onside, lurking at the back post. He poked in, although Joe Hart got a massive fist to it. Unfortunately, it was not big enough. And uh, that's what she said. <laughs> and uh, he just he could only tap it into his own net. So Kinsuke Honda scores the first goal. A little bit of a lucky goal, a little bit of a deflected goal. But we will take it 1-0 to us. Lukaku was set through. Lovely, lovely shot. Drilled it lower, all, along the ground against Joe Hart. Sorry about that. Mucked up my words a little bit. But unfortunately, Joe Hart was again equal to it. He's a, he's a good keeper. We're going to have to do a much, much better job to uh, to test him. That was a really good shot by F, by uh, by Luke Remy. Definitely, definitely tested Joe Hart this time. We did win a corner from it. Like I say, a wonderful, wonderful effort. Joe Hart had to be at his very best to deny that one. And uh, we could tell from the early minutes in the first half that it was going to be Joe Hart that was going to be the busier keeper. Yang and B were having an effort on shot. It was a volley. He's a centre-back. I didn't really expect anything from that. And they managed to get it away. Remy on the ball. Going for the finesse shot. Perhaps should have just smashed it. Finesse isn't exactly his uh, strongest quality. But... Whatever, we were the better team by far and away. Man City had only real one chance in the first half like, from the corner from Lescott. And then that dangerous ball in the end. And that was all it. Again, Joe Hart called into the action for the first time in the second half. I mean, we were all over Man City by now. And I felt it was time to make some changes. Ben Arthur and Dongu come on uh, to add a bit of pace to the wings and a bit of pace up front. Because I felt Lukaku uh, was getting a little bit tired. Was it Lukaku? No. Yeah, Lukaku. Lukaku was getting a little bit tired. So I thought Dongu, a little bit of pace injected into the team won't do us any harm. Remy again testing Joe Hart. The problem was we weren't getting our strikers into the box. I felt that as soon as we get our strikers into the box to have shots, that was it. We were all up and done with. And as soon as I say that, like Remy, the man who was notorious for heading goals in last season, he just steps up and smashes it into the back of the net with a big, fat forehead of his. I don't know what they feed him over in France. Well, I do because I'm the French manager. But, um... It's definitely worth it. Luke Remy is a massive, massive player for in this game, guys. Um, somehow that's a penalty. I felt the Man City might as well have just taken the goal and got on with it. But uh, whatever. It's a penalty. My captain, Yang and Biwa, managed to give away a penalty. So Jovetic steps up for Man City. He scored against me every time he's played this season. And oh, wait, he goes for the cheeky chip and the bastard missed. Mignolet, Mignolet, Mignolet. The first time he's had to be called into action this season, really, that we can remember. And the new Newcastle keeper steps up beautifully. He has no qualms about uh, just, just catching Jovetic's penalty. No, no problem with doing that whatsoever. And uh, we managed to get away. We still have a clean sheet against Man City. When was the last time I could say that again? Testing Joe Hart from a free kick. This time it was my man Kensuke who got the first goal. He won us the corner. And from the corner it was Kensuke again whipping it in. But this time it was too close to Joe Hart. And he managed to get there ahead of David Santon for, for who for some reason was in the box. A little bit later on Aguero was set through. Christian Tao however had the pace to just cause him problems. Not exactly tackle him until the very end. But he did it enough. And then finally Yaya Torre was substituted off to the applause of both the home and away fans. And Joe Allen came on for the last few minutes. Musa Sissoko having an effort on goal. That was dipping. That was dipping. We saw him score. We have saw. Oh, pardon me. We've seen him score, score some screamers before. But um, 
The match was pretty much over. One last chance. Luke Raymond was set through, beating Lescott to the ball. And guess what? He made it 3-0. 3-0. For 3-0. Last episode, we beat Portugal 3-0. And today, we beat Man City 3-0. The heavyweights of the divisions that we're in, both with France in the group stage and here. I expect Man City and Chelsea to be the hardest teams. And guess what? We beat both of them 3-0. Yes, boys. The only team that we've got left to play in the league, the only hard team, really, is, um, is Chelsea and maybe Tottenham and Everton. The rest are either mid-table or below. I expect to do very well in the league. We have had a great, great start. Arsenal win 3-1 against Southampton. But uh, what can I say, guys? We really have had a great start to the league. Rob Elliott wants to play. I doubt he ever will. He's not good enough. I'm sorry. He's 28 years old. Probably should look to sell him or something. But we have Champions League in the next episode. So stay tuned for that. We have a tough group. Borussia Dortmund, St. Etienne and FC Basel. Wow, that is really quite tough. But there's the league table after four games. It's still early days, have in mind. But we are 12 points clear. Well, not 12 points clear. We're on 12 points in the league. So it's all good, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If if you have, if you could please leave a like rating, I'd greatly appreciate it. And apart from that, I will see you guys all in the next episode. Bye.